study conducted by Harvard and the World Economic Forum, these diseases cost the world economy an aggregate of over $1.4 trillion each year. Just to illustrate that, that's the equivalent of the entire Spanish economy. That's a lot of money. And as bad as all this may sound, it's only going to get worse as global population and life expectancy increase in unison. According to this graph, which is based on United Nations projections, by 2050, over to more than 20% of people will be 60 years and older, which means that these chronic diseases that I mentioned will increase in the coming decades, making the burden even larger than it is today. What could that mean in practical terms if we uh, put it in standard treatment protocols and if we give some people cocoa? Well, let's just imagine if we can reduce the disease burden on a global scale by just 1%. Not a holy grail, not some kind of breakthrough, but just 1%. That would mean saving $14 billion each year in medical expenses. And as, as I've discussed in the previous slides, cocoa has a rich medical history, 21st century research shows that it has potentially large effects on human health. It has little to no known side effects. And lastly, it is dirt cheap. Therefore, cocoa has the potential to improve the quality of lives of millions of people who suffer each and every day from these horrendous diseases. And that is a goal worth pursuing. That's why we should start taking cocoa's medical potential seriously for it is truly a gift from the gods. Thank you for your attention, and yeah, let's make a difference.